Today I'd like to talk about why I find film photography so important for my artistic growth. Although I don't shoot only film but also digital, I am fond of film photography and I usually miss its aesthetic appeal and feel and vibe when I use my digital camera. So yeah, why I find film photography important for my artistic growth? The first reason is that it brings me back to basics. I've been thinking the contrast between the amount of pictures I see daily and how many of them I actually look closely to examine the light, see the composition, these little details that make it special. What does this image mean and what it makes me feel? Elements that can help me in my own photography and inspire me to start a new project or continue an existing one when I find myself in kind of a rut. So yeah, film can bring you back to the basics. All I have to worry about is light, aperture, shutter speed and composition. And yeah, that's, that's quite a lot actually, but that's the basics of photography and light, aperture, shutter speed and composition are the tools that we use to creatively express and expound on the themes that we are interested in and want to communicate through our art. One other reason that I think film photography is important for my artistic growth is slow process. We live in a world that is moving so fast and with the speed that technology develops, we get bombarded by information and images in such extent that it's overwhelming, I think. Every day millions of images pass in front of our eyes that we barely notice them. The pressure to create and create fast is bigger than ever and this can work, I think, against creativity. Although you can maintain a slow pace while shooting digital, of course it depends on, on what kind of photography one is doing and the way one is working, but with film photography it kind of forces you to slow down and be present and focused on what you do at the moment, which I think is much needed these days. In my opinion, it can bring you closer to yourself in a way because it gives you time to think what you're looking at, what you choose to shoot and how to compose your frame. And this can benefit, as it seems, the whole creative process and the growth as a photographer. At least that's what I've noticed in me. Of course, I'm still exploring the impact that film photography has in me. And I often find that it brings me so much joy whenever I do it even if the results are not always what I want to. One other reason that I find film photography important for my artistic growth is a weird one and <laughs> it's uncertainty. It's true that a lot can go wrong with film photography, but that's part of the magic. What makes it so special is that you cannot review and decide immediately about every image that you take because there is a natural time gap between taking a photo and actually seeing the result. Sometimes you almost don't know what you got until you get it developed. The anticipation to see the results and the way fantasy and memory are working during this time gap between taking a photo and seeing it it's extremely valuable in my opinion. 
It's like giving yourself time to process what happened and evaluate it later on. It distincts in a way the present moment from the moment that you've captured. Whenever I'm in the middle of a project or before I start a new one, I always take a bowl of film and go out to take some images without preparing anything, without preparing the scene, just go out and take some pictures to see what I'm looking at. Even if the places that I go are random or places that I've seen like a million times that I'm bored of them, there are moments that I usually get surprised because I find not exactly something new, but I find myself seeing it from a different perspective. But even if I don't keep any images from going out, uh, this whole process gives me inspiration gets me out of my routine and uh, I've noticed that the days following this process I usually find myself more uh, creatively engaged in my ongoing project.